Hi guys, it's Emmy Lou. I'm going to show you today how to draw an eagle in a nest with some eggs. Sydney and Lachlan, these two guys that um, I taught over the May workshop, I think it was the May workshop, said that they wanted to draw it. So do you know what? I'm going to draw it for them. So all we're going to start off with is you need a pencil, a piece of paper and a rubber. I've got a felt tip, big piece of paper and I don't need a rubber because I can't rub out my... Um, my felt tip, but it's just so you could see. So let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start off with, everything's kind of like a guideline. So you're gonna start off with, on the piece of paper, you're gonna do a shape that looks a little bit like a giant egg. Kind of an egg, or it could be a jelly bean. Jelly bean slightly squished. So a squished jelly bean, I'm gonna go around it again, because it's kind of light, isn't it? I mean, it is quite a dark day, but it's so warm today. I think it's going to be 28 degrees. <sighs> okay, once you've got that, you're going to do a head. Now, just remember, all of these are guidelines, so just press really lightly. Don't press really, really hard, because you're going to have to rub some of them out. So you're going to just go... Da -da -dee. Oh, so it kind of looks a bit like a wonky snowman, <laughs> like a wobbly snowman, which is fine. That's exactly what you want. So then we're going to do, you're going to do like a tummy of a capital D. So you're going to go just in the egg or the jelly bean. Oh, everything's food right now. I think it's just because I love food really. So after you've done that, you're just going to go. So you want to create um, a line so it looks like... Um, it, well, it's going to be the beak. I'm just going to check out. I was trying to sneakily check out my picture that I've taken so I can copy it. But do you know what? I'm just going to just gonna do it right now. Whew, okay. So, then you're going to go. This one's a really crooked beak. Like, if you think about an eagle, it's got... Uh, it's a bit like a witch's nose. Like a, a crookedy nose. So, just try and do it like that. And then you're going to go up like a the... So just up a little bit, then you're going to go, no. so just join it up if you can, join it up if you can, okay, so, and then you're going to go, it's like he's scowling because he looks a little bit angry, I don't think he is angry, but he's going to be scowling like that type of look, and then underneath you're going to do an O, so it's half a circle, and then you've got the eye. I'm so warm. Actually, it's wet. Oh, it's very warm today. <laughs> it's only, it's quite early in the morning and it's really, really warm. So once you've done that, you're going to do a little nostril. Ta -da! And you've got to just go underneath and go like that. Because that's the other part of the beak. You want to rub out something in a minute and I won't be able to rub it out just because of, oh, I think I can. I'll kind of make it look like I've rubbed it out in chalk. Hang on. Let's try and find some white chalk. Okay. So we want to rub out this line and the line in the beak. So rub out that. It should look pretty good now, actually. It should start looking like a, an eagle. Okay. And then once you've done that, eagles are quite fluffy. Um, so you want to go start on the top and go... If you can't do it, think about zigzags or triangles because you want to make sure he's got like, it's almost like he's wearing a scarf. It's like he's wearing a little scarf. A bit like that. So then we're going to rub out. Where's my rubber? Going to rub out, rub out with, the, I'm going to rub out with the chalk, but you're going to do it obviously with rubber. So you're going to rub a dub dub. Rub a dub dub. So you're rubbing the jelly bean line out and you're rubbing the whatever that was. I think that was a cookie. Something food wise, I'm sure. So then we're going to do, he's sitting on some eggs, but we need to do the, the um, what do you call it? The wing. So we're going to go, everything that you draw now is going to be kind of fluffy. So you're just going to go, ah. When you go like that, then go, it's like you're creating 
kind of almost a wobbly line you don't want a straight one and if you want to if you're feeling if you're feeling adventurous you could add like u shapes from the side you could add a couple you don't have to um insin like you can insinuate it's there which means suggests which means you could just make it look like all of it's covered only by doing a couple of things um they do that sometimes in architecture when you do a building and you draw bricks you don't have to draw all of them just draw a couple because it looks like the whole thing's covered if that makes any sense okay right so now we're going to do he's sitting in a nest with some eggs because they haven't hatched yet so we're just going to do underneath him you could literally do, I would start with an egg, so a top of an egg, and then you could do like another egg. You could have like so many eggs. You could have an egg there, because he's inside the nest with all the eggs, so if you can't draw the eggs like that, just think about half an egg and just keep doing half an egg, a bit like a rainbow, and if you do them a bit differently, it's quite nice actually. Then to make him look like he's in a nest or her, it would be a her or here, it doesn't matter, whatever you like, you're just going to go wobbly line like that. So do a wobbly, wobbly line. I love wobbly lines, as you can tell. And then we're going to do, touch that bit there, and we're going to go, that one's going to be his um, tail. So we're going to go up like that. And then up like that and up like that. Doesn't matter because he's in the nest, so you won't see the rest. And where's my rubber gone? You want to rub out this little bit. So now you've got like most of his body. He'll probably have a longer tail and everything, but it's in the nest. So the nest has got to cover that bit really. So these are eggs, and I sometimes do that to make them look shiny. Ow. And then you want to just create, think about long twiglet twiglet thingies so like straws so you could do one going down and then crisscross so you want to make it look like it's a nest by doing almost like you know those strawberry laces that you can eat so it's like if you can't do that because it's really hard you could just think about okay around the egg you're going to do a shape like that and then around, just keep, doesn't matter how you do it, as long as the eggs have got lots of these twiggy things. And as I say, all it is, is just long twiggy things. So as long as you make it look rounded, if you can't do that, you could just do it rounded like that. And just, and just like you could do this. I don't know where to show you. You could do this. You could go... I mean, that's like a very simple way that might look like a basket, but you could do it like, you could do it like that if it's really hard to do it like this. But I'd give it a go. I'd, I'd give it a go and try it because you never know, it might look really cool. Okay, so on the back, you can do this. You can just go down a little bit and then put a little line, go down, put a little line, put a little line. It's because you need to make him look a little bit more fluffy. He needs to look fluffy. And then you're going to rub out the line inside so you're rubbing out that one don't desperately need to do this by the way it was just something that you could do now the head's a bit rounded so you kind of need to do go up a little bit and you could make it more square because it might look more like a um you said giraffe again how strange is that it will look more like an eagle an eagle okay now we come to the coloring in i'm gonna do it with chalk again just because I think it would be nice to see what it looks like um, with the chalk. Just thinking, that's not the legs. <laughs> you won't see everything. Like You could draw the legs in there, but you probably wouldn't see the legs because he's in the nest and it's all the, it's all the, you know, all the stuff that he collects for the nest. So I wouldn't worry about drawing the eggs. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm just going to copy the collars. Right, so we want a brown, we want a light brown, a chalk pastel, if you've got chalk, and a dark brown. Dark brown. I reckon a grey would be kind of cool. So a grey, a dark brown, and a light brown. And we're going to start off with dark brown here. So you're just going to shade it a little bit. Dark brown, dark brown, dark brown. 
then you're going to do a little bit of dot brown there. Then you're going to do dot brown there. I'm doing this quite fast, but obviously you're going to do it a lot slower than me. A little bit of dot brown there. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the light brown. And we're going to do... Da -da -da. I'm holding it from the side because it's a lot easier. Right, there is your eagle, which might you might think, mm, okay, but it's definitely nearly done. We're going to take our one little finger, one little finger, and we're going to smudge away, which means blend. Now, when you blend, just make sure you do it carefully with one finger. It's no good doing la 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 because it gets so messy, honestly. Okay, so we've kind of got a little bit of the eagle. Now we want to do, um, I'm going to do a bit of dark brown for the feathers. And you could just do a little bit around there. So you can add to it as you go along, depending on what you think it looks like. Um, and you can add different browns as well. It doesn't have to be the same brown, but it's, pardon me, it's quite nice to have the fluffiness. I would say that's too straight. So you could outline it when we do outline it and make it fluffy. So we're going to outline it now. We can do it in a black, but I quite like a dark brown. So we're just going to go round, and when we go round, zigzag this bit a little bit, just ziggy zaggy, and then go around these bits. Whoa. But don't go around the head, because we're going to go around the head with a grey if we can. And then that round here, and if you, these are quite tricky, I'm not going to lie. And the wing, and the wing. Now, obviously, he's a little bit more furry. I know he said hairy. He's a little bit more furry, so you could just do lines like that, like a few little lines, if you want to show that he's quite fluffy. Then get the little finger, and you're going to go, you're just drawing over, like you're taking it for a walk, your finger. Just draw over. Da, 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 da. I'm not quite sure why I'm singing, but <laughs> just happens when I. I don't know why. All the children ask me, why do you sing when you're doing it? I'm like, I don't know. I won't call it singing, but you know. Hey, I'm gonna smudge a little bit. Smudge, 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 smudge. Okay, right. Now you're gonna do the. Um, you could do the beak now, but your hands are gonna be a bit messy, so it might be a bit tricky. But I wonder what the colour of the eggs of an eagle is. I mean, you could have a bit of fun with it and do like a yellow egg and you could do a blue egg. So I would probably do a blue one. You could do this because I love doing this when I paint. I sort of go around it. So you go around the egg, then you smudge inside. I'll show you the difference. So this is a hole when you colour the whole thing and it still looks pretty cool. But the purple, when you colour only around the edges, it's kind of like it looks 3D then. It looks kind of more cool, so I'd probably give that a go. So if you missed that, because I'm doing it quite quickly, just get the colour that you like, go around the outside of the egg that you've drawn, and then smudge in. And it makes it look 3D. I love that look. It's really cool. Um, looks like it's Easter in my nest. Finished, and I've got green on my hands. I've made that a little bit green, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to wipe my hands on my apron, but you can obviously wipe it in the sink or wherever you go, the tail is looking a bit strange, so you could make this. Mine's in the, well the tail's in the, um, in the nest, but you could make it, you could make it a little bit longer if you like, and just come it, make it go out the nest. But I don't know, I quite like it in the nest, but anyway. So you could do that, you could just cr create the tail so it's longer, or just leave it if you like. So dark grey, and we're gonna go round. If you don't want to do a dark grey, you could easily do a black. I'm just drawing around the lines that we already drew. So I'm not doing anything new, I'm just drawing round. Now the eye kind of needs to be a dark colour, so this is my black, nice and big. I've got hardly any blacks left, you know. Ah, oh, do you know what? Get a yellow, yellow, yellow. Colour the eye in. I'm doing this before I do the black because it gets so messy otherwise. Now the beak is pretty much yellowy-orange. So you could do a bit of yellow, then 
sort of outline it of a little bit of orange might look really cool okay now I'm really messy and then you want to just get your little one finger and then you want to draw around his head draw around the little guy's head but you can also smudge it like you can blend it a bit underneath make him look fluffy he's a fluffy guy and then maybe I could use my tiny baby finger you want to just smudge away and smudge the eye right nearly done we're going to do a black and we're going to just draw in the details i've done the nostril around the eye you can you don't have to do um this bit but it kind of stands out more it kind of looks nice and all you do now is the nest so you can kind of go a bit wild you could just color this just think of it as chocolate spaghetti which sounds revolting doesn't it I wonder if they've got something like chocolate spaghetti. So you want to cover his body, like it's okay if you go over, because they're twigs and they're branches. So you could literally, where you go around the eggs, make that chunky, chunky monkey. Then, da -da -dee. then once you've done the nest, and if you feel obviously you have to do more of the nest, that's fine. But you want to just get your one little finger. And if you're a bit older, you can add more detail. You can just think to yourself, right, okay, I like him looking more fluffy. So you can make him more fluffy by putting more fluffy lines or you can make a crazy kind of color for him if you like. He doesn't have to be this color. He could be a blue, <laughs> he could be a blue eagle or something. Um, so there's my eagle in his nest. Um, if I was to change it slightly, I'd get a dark brown because there's shadow under him. And I'd probably start kind of creating a bit of dark shadow under the nest, but you don't have to do that. That's more if you're a bit older or if you... It depends how you like it, because it's quite nice just to have something simple to begin with, and then you can build on it. Like, you could literally draw a branch, so it's on a branch. It would be kind of cute if you did that. So, yeah, there's my eagle. I think the next thing I might do is I might do a snake. I think it'd be quite cool because we did a snake this week and it was actually really quite tricky. I thought a snake would be really easy, but it was a little bit tricky. So we'll do a snake next week. Um, I think a snake maybe. If not a snake, then it'll be another animal because I'm loving animals at the moment. Um, if you liked my video, like it below. Um, subscribe would be cool because I'm going to be doing one every single week. Because um, I think it'll be really nice to do some drawing every week with me. Um, so yeah, I shall see you very soon. Enjoy your drawing. If you can, post what you've created. Um, create Well, post what you've created below because it would be really cool to see. Or you can go to Facebook. It's Emmy Lou Art, if you're allowed. Ask your parents um, and post what you've drawn there because it would be lovely to see all your drawings. I know that you send me them by email, which is amazing. But if you could also post on my Facebook, that would be cool for everyone else to see. Uh, I've also got a book, it's um, Fine Art Projects on Amazon, so make sure you buy that if you want to see how to draw certain other things. Okay, I'll speak to you soon, bye!